Alrighty, we're going to be doing something a little different here today. Uh, we've got an 83 Cutlass Supreme. It's a Hearst Olds clone. Don't get me started on it. Uh, today, we're going to be changing the old. What we got here is a 350 rocket out of a 1972 Olds Delta 88. And I do believe it takes five quarts total. Uh, so let's get right to it. I already got it jacked up in there, so I'm just going to get down here. Go ahead and take the strain plug out. Better grab my filter. I have it ready. Matter of fact, I'm also going to go ahead and grab my oil. That way I don't have to get in and out of the car too much. Okay. The type of oil we're going to be using today is what I prefer, castor oil. Uh, we're going to be running the high mileage 10W40. Something a little bit thicker with this being an older engine. As far as I know, it has never been rebuilt. Uh, so, you know, a little, little thicker oil is not going to hurt. No telling how much miles is on it. Just the engine being, what, 51 years old. Let's see, I've already got my drain pan up underneath here. And as you can see, we've got a pretty nasty leak coming from the oil pan. And there's also a leak coming off the transmission. It's got a turbo 400 transmission in it. I actually did a rebuild on it uh, maybe two years ago. So I, I'm not quite sure if that's the, uh, if that's possibly the transmission pan itself, or if it may be coming from a uh, bushing that I may not have replaced in the front pump housing um, But either way it does have a small bit of a transmission leak it leaked 10 15 times worse prior to uh, me rebuilding it uh, I remember we used to actually have to constantly constantly put ATF in it just for us to to move it around but Let's go ahead and get started draining the oil here uh, this drain pan has a bit of an odd size on it. I believe it's a 21. Oh wow, it's actually a little bit bigger. It's a 22. As far as I know, it's not an oversized plug. So, uh, give me just a moment. Let me grab that. Okay. We are back with our 22. Like I said, a bit of an odd size. I'll set the phone up for a moment. I can get a good turn on it. Right. Now that I got that broke loose, just gonna go ahead and let her drain. Not the nastiest oil. Uh, I cannot lie, I'm not sure when we last replaced it. So, I noticed it was about a quart low. Figured I'd go ahead and just do a full on oil change. Never hurts to change oil, especially when you have a vehicle that's been sitting for, you know, over three months. And uh, judging on how fast it just drained, that seems like it was a lot lower than a quart. Hmm. Try and find our oil. Okay, I accidentally cut the video off there, but I was saying let's find our oil filter. And it is over here on the passenger side, just right above the exhaust manifold here, this header. And I'm gonna see if I can reach in there and turn it by hand. If not, I've got a set of oil filter pliers. Looks like we're gonna have to use those. 
So yet again, I'm gonna set this phone down for just a minute. See if I can get us a good angle here. Okay, get our pliers on here. Give it a turn. Just a couple times, get it broke loose. It'd be loose enough I can reach up in there and get the rest of it by hand. Move our bucket over just a little bit. Make sure we're not completely coating the driveway. Nothing a little pressure washing can't hurt, can't fix, but at the same time, I'm gonna try and prevent all used oil, or any oil for that matter, from getting on the ground and washing out and stuff like that. Gotta do what's best for the environment. Go ahead and spin this off here. hoping I got the right filter like I said this engine's out of a 72 Delta 88 and the filter I got this Wix seems like it's a little bit shorter but larger well this one seems like it's just a well, not necessarily larger I guess they'd have to be the same diameter but this one seems like it might be a little bit longer whereas the Wix is shorter She's hot. The exhaust ain't hot, but the oil's hot. I did take it for a little bit of a drive around the neighborhood. Trying to loosen everything up. So I can get all the oil out. Just let that drain in there. Okay, what we're gonna do. Some people, yeah, it's a different filter altogether. Uh, some people say it's uh, not necessarily a waste of time, but it's a step you can skip. You don't really have to do it. Personally, I like to take and pre-fill my oil filters, especially if they're vertical. It just kind of helps the engine get up, to, get up to oil pressure just a little bit sooner, a little bit quicker. It doesn't have to wait for the, the oil to get to the filter. So what we're going to do is take our castor oil. And fill her up. And unfortunately, I'm doing the oil change here at the house instead of at the shop. Uh, if I was at the shop, I definitely would take a can of brake clean and go ahead and spray off everything that we've gotten oil on. And just everything is kind of covered down there. That way we can, you know, Keep an eye on the leaks, just clean it up, make it just, not necessarily nicer, but just a little bit cleaner. Uh, but that is all right. When you fill your oil filter, you wanna make sure that you take and put some oil around the O-ring, because if you let that O-ring or gasket, put it on while it's dry with no oil on it, uh, the heat can actually make it stick to the, the engine. And if you double gasket it, you will have an extreme leak. And that's never a good thing. <clears throat> Even though this vehicle may already have an extreme leak, I'm talking about put it on, crank it up, and or, or oil will be spilling. Okay, just shimmy, shimmy, yop underneath here. Yeah, it's definitely a different filter altogether. I'm just feeling with my hand here, making sure that that old O-ring is gone and did not stick, which it didn't. And we're going to spin our filter back on. I'm gonna make sure you get it nice and tight. Normally, I would not advocate using Oil, an oil filter wrench or oil filter pliers on your oil filter when tightening uh, normally 
as long as you're able to get a good grip on it and you tighten it till it won't go any further and then turn it about a quarter you won't have any leaks just want to make sure you have it filtered on there nice and tight speak from experience i've got an 87 s10 with a uh, 383 stroker that i built in it and uh i'm not very proud to say i forgot to uh didn't forget but didn't tighten the filter up as tight as it should be and it was leaking for quite a while we thought maybe it was the uh maybe it was the little oil pressure gauge screwed on the back of the intake because uh, you know it's got one of those cheap plastic lines running to the gauge but uh fortunately it was just the it was just the filter so we're just going to clean up the oil pan here a little bit and take our drain plug and throw it back in there this just want to tighten it till it's till it's snug don't need to don't need to hulk out on it don't need to give her the beans or nothing or tighten it so tight you dent the oil pan which it looks like someone already has uh but you want to make sure it's nice and tight you know me smelling some burning oil for a little while Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is find our funnel, wherever I may have placed it. Well, after searching to no avail, I just decided to, uh, well, do a little reduce, reuse, and recycling and grab this old Sprite bottle here which doesn't want to stay in. So, we're going to prop up the funnel. Like I said at the beginning of the video, 350 rocket from a Delta 88. Holds five quarts even. We already pre-filled our filter, so we're gonna go ahead and pour the remainder in here. I just realized I spilled a great majority of that. Not a great majority, but I did spill uh, probably a quarter of a quart, maybe half a quart, so that's no good. You live and you learn. Should have just cleaned out the orange funnel. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, clean up our mess here. All right, quick. It's a little off the intake. Don't worry, it was all intentional. I was wanting to uh, polish up the polish up the intake and the water pump here with some oil. You know, give it a nice shine, you know. Uh, some people prefer, some people prefer to use, uh, what is that, Armor Oil? Not me, buddy. Old, old Castrol 1040. It'll shine your whole engine bay up. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and throw our dipstick and our oil cap back on. Yeah. 
struggling today. Struggling. We're on the struggle bus. Throw that back in there. And we'll go ahead and give it a start. Hopefully it doesn't shake the phone down. There we go. We've got her rolling now. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and hop right back down here. No, that is not oil leaking from the start. Unfortunately, that is where my uh, makeshift funnel failed me. But we're going to check our drain plug here. I'm not seeing any leaks. Be cautious of the fan. Check our oil filter here. I also don't see any leaks. Let it run for a second. It's a smooth running, uh, smooth running engine. check see if I really did waste about a half a quart if so you know no sense in crying over spilt oil I mean I, I'm a little disappointed about it after preaching about not getting dirty oil or clean oil or any oil for that matter on the ground but mistakes do happen Dipstick wants to fight me. Alright. And it's showing full. It's showing a little over full, but I believe that might be where the engine is. The engine, the car is at an angle. I just got the front jacked up right now, sitting on stands. But, uh, pretty much it for the oil change the video is probably a little longer than it needed to be but you know we can make up for that with editing uh, i think what i'm gonna do now is go ahead and clean this bad dude up a little bit uh, if i remember correctly i believe my dad named it betty betty the 1983 olds cutlass supreme get the shop back out and just go ahead and Tuck up some of these leaves and stuff where it's been setting and I would pressure wash it but unfortunately paint has seen better days and uh, I'd rather not take and start chipping everything away you know but that's that thanks for uh, checking out the video and that's how you change the oil on a 83 cutlass